Hello, welcome to Speed Shop. Uh, today I got kind of a first glance at a product, at least for me anyways. It's not a new product by any means. Um, and that is the J-Rupture 2-2s. I'm real excited for these. Probably because I had to wait for so long. They were out of stock for, I don't know, six months. I finally got the email and ordered them up this month. Uh, so I got those in. And then I also want to try the Amazon, the cheap Amazon carbon fiber wheels. I think they're about 35 bucks. Um, and kind of want to show you guys the differences that I saw between what I was running and what I am running now. So my previous tire was the Proline Printers in a 2.2, and now going to these guys. The one concern is, is that these are significantly larger, which is going to change your center of gravity. It can affect a poor performance. Also weight, too. So um, let's turn this guy on. I'll show you the difference. Uh, you've got... 114 grams versus 134 grams. So 20 grams difference just in tires. Um, I, I had them all assembled and weighed together. When it's all put together, though, with the aluminum wheels versus the carbon fiber, all said and done, it's like 13 grams. Uh, but the video got too long. I want to try to keep it closer to 10 minutes. So I'm not going to do any assembling or disassembling. Now, that's your weight difference. Now let's get some size differences here. Zero out the calipers. It takes every bit of the caliper. It's just enough to measure it. A little bit, a little bit. Come in this a small amount. So that's, well, this part don't matter, really, with the tires in. Well, this is going to be more universal, though. Because I have a unique setup. Uh, 148 millimeters versus. Oh, 145. All put together, though, the, the, there's a bigger difference than that if you got the right size foams in it. These are, are probably almost, I want to say, 10 millimeters taller. Definitely wider, too. Uh, there's about a 10 millimeter difference in width as well. So it's going to make a big difference. That was 60 down to 50. So the width stays pretty true, uh, but it's the height that's going to be what's different. It maxed me out at 152 uh, with the foam in it. So, and this stayed about the same. Um, so that's going to be your height difference. So these are significantly heavier. Obviously, they're bigger. They're about 10 millimeters taller, 10 millimeters wider. Um, let's check out the difference in wheels. There's a big difference here. 83 versus 45. Um, plus, I think you could make this one lighter. I think you can get this down to 35 grams. Um, this has 3 by 10 screws and 3 by 8 screws. I think you can get away with 3 by 10 all the way around. Um, I also think you could go to an aluminum screw or titanium because uh, they use full-size hardware, unfortunately, on this. Uh, and then I think you could drill this out, which is like 15 grams. This, this center part weighs. I think you could remove some weight there. It probably some out of the center hub, too, uh, which I may do. I may try to get these as light as possible. Um, aesthetically, these do look cheap for some reason. I don't know why. But I think you could change it with just some anodized screws, some of those aluminum screws, a different color would change the look of the wheel a whole bunch. Um, but I just decided to go with the uh, Big Squid inserts, and I had these on the trenchers. Uh, now that I got the Jake Concepts, though, they are too small. When I went to put the wheel together, it was bunching up like this on the inside. It did not look nice. Uh, so what I ultimately ended up doing is, and it wasn't perfect, I just took a hobby knife, just one of those guys, and just cut out a quarter inch, which was the difference in the height of foam, and then stuck it on here. Now, what was cool about that is the exact difference just made this fit in there perfectly, no binding, no nothing, and then because it sits so perfect once you get it, it actually starts to concave with the tire and everything. So it makes it like a, because I think he does like a dual stage, almost like a triple stage here. Um, I think it's going to be amazing. They have give, uh, no side, I think that's... These are going to be really awesome. Only thing I'm worried about is the the height. Aesthetically, it's going to be great. Um, I'll get some running footage out there and see the difference. But I just wanted to show you. You know, these are fine in quality. They're 2.5 millimeters thick on the carbon fiber, and it's enough because you really 
be able to bind this down in the back and it doesn't bend. Um, so plenty of strength there. Um, you save, you know, 50 grams or whatever doing that. Uh, the squid inserts, th this is hard to put together though. I will say this back part doesn't want to go in. And I think it's the squid inserts, but I think it's because I, I think it's my fault, not squid inserts fault. His product has been great. I think you can order tires specific or inserts specific to tires and wheels. Um, so if I did that and didn't get it for my previous size, um, that it would probably work better. Uh, but this is a good solution and I'm excited to get them on there. So if you have any other questions about the J Concepts 2.2s two or the, um, the J Concepts ruptures or the Amazon wheels, feel free to put them in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I see it. Um, I don't think there's any more information I can give you. I gave you weight. I gave you size. That's it. Thanks for watching.